Hey, Wendy, good afternoon from outside of the state capitol here in Lansing, where the legislature is actually in session today. We're going to talk about that in a minute, but first let's recap what Governor Whitmer had to say just a short time ago. First, the stay-at-home order is going to be extended through at least the middle of May, but there's going to be some modifications to it. Some of those restrictions are going to be loosened. Landscaping companies can go back to work, but they are going to have to follow strict social distancing, and stores can reopen some areas, including gardening centers. Activities like using a motorboat and golfing will also be allowed, but social distancing will have to be practiced. As for golfing, that's going to be walking the course only. Golf carts are still not going to be allowed out on golf courses. As for the legislature, they are meeting today to work on bills limiting the governor's emergency powers and to form a committee to oversee the state's response to the coronavirus. We spoke to House Speaker Lee Chatfield earlier today about the legislation and the governor's move to extend the stay-at-home order. Here's some of what the speaker had to say. This is about ensuring that people have a voice because there's a lot of frustrated people across our state right now who have had their livelihoods taken away and they're being told that they can't work a job and take care of their family. And we want to hold government to a higher standard. And this is a very necessary first step. We have to start looking through the lens of what can be done safely and what is unsafe. Speaker Chatfield added that he and Governor Whitmer spoke yesterday about what the next steps should be for the state of Michigan. He said it was a very productive conversation and that he urged the governor to not take a one-size-fits-all approach when it comes to reopening the state. And the governor did address that legislation uh, that's being worked on here at the Capitol at the news conference. She said she will veto any bills that come to her desk that limit her powers or that would limit the powers of any future governors here in the state of Michigan. We are going to have much more on the governor's executive order that was issued today coming up tonight on 9 and 10 News at 5 and 6. For now, we are live at the Capitol building in Lansing. David Lydon, 9 and 10 News.